Hello there and welcome back to my video. In this video we will speak about Python and the unit testing. Based on my previous videos about unit testing, I will say it's time for, for me to show how you can pass your test because right now all the test is uh, failed as you can see down here. It's too low to buy and it is allowed to buy. The first we want it's uh, sending down here uh, the right age <coughs> and then we want to remove the, the age limit so when we are uh, running the, the code uh, the test again you can see here it still will uh, making errors but now we have the right date uh, daytime inside our person class here and then we want to create so it's passed the first we want to build here is a static method and then we want to build a alcohol a restriction to buy list as I speak about Denmark love to change rules so I want to have it dynamic in case of we change the age in the country and so it's easy to to change the way everything is working so we we'll start with the 18 years and you are allowed to buy 100% alcohol that's meaning you can go down this in, in a special store and buy 100% alcoholic drink when you're 16 you only can buy 16.5 alcoholic drink so that's what we want to test against so if you're 18 you're allowed to buy whatever you want and when you're 60 you only buy up to that's meaning normally it's it's meaning you can buy beer and and wine but vodka and something like that it's not allowed then we're going uh, up here and we need uh, from date time we import a date and then we can go down here and remove the pass I'll have this comments here so we know what we're doing the first one I want to uh, going down to the test case and copy this line of code because we need to reuse it inside here and the today you only need to replace DG with uh, your birthday here and then we're good to go and then we want the for loop if uh, I would say a l a r to b in and then we loop the the rules against and we we'll say if the age is bigger than or equal to the r to b zero that's the first uh, the key in in the tool and the alcoholic percent is uh, lower than uh, at V1 so we have a, a lookup for the H and H should be higher or equal to this and the alcoholic should be lower than this else we want to return a false but if it's passed we want to return true and down here we want to return false so if it's not passed inside this loop we want to pass false and let's try and everything here is passed and that's correct based on the test cases um, we could make more test cases um, like uh, given defined like the if you return then make a test based on the alcoholic drink so we can say if you drink so many milliliters of this you're probably not enabled to to drive a car but I will not do this uh, not, not now maybe later I'm not decide to to do this right now so thank you so much for this and I will remove this up as a comment up here so we have it as a comment for ourselves if you have any questions you can please make it in the comments field below and remember as always you can download this code on my github and the link will be below and I hope you want to follow me on github to get more source code 
and of course follow me here on YouTube so you can get more tech videos from me when I code and do something else funny. Thank you so much and if you don't know how to subscribe you can go in the right corner and press the link below and of course hit the like button and the comments if you have any questions. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time.